was a saying from a sorcerer that turning a clay into a goat, it would probably sound ridiculous. However, if that saying was from Dat Green Folks, this may hold true, as this is Dat Green Village of the Moon, a village of pottery. Dan Guen Village, originally known as Dat Gratok, is one of the Khon Rajasima's traditional villages. The village was initially a caravan stop between the Korat Khmer route. As a result, the village was locally called Dan Guen. However, its reputation for pottery stemmed from the immigration of Khar, hill tribe of Mon Khmer stock living in the north of Thailand that propel pottery knowledge exchange with the traditional Danguian folks, mastering it until becoming a career later on. The uniqueness of Danguian pottery is the diversity in shapes, patterns, colors, and its production process that reflect Danguian's identity. More importantly, unlike any other pottery, Dan Guyan pottery is highly durable as the clay used in production is fine quality clay in red or brown color, dug up from the bank of the Moon River. The clay from the River Moon's bank has iron as the essential constituent, with properties to form a shape easily and highly resist distortion, deformation, and fracture. When incinerated in high heat, the clay unveils a naturally glossy reddish brown or ill blood like color. Dan Guen sub district with its unique pottery was one of the four Thailand's model Ota villages selected by the Community Development Department, Ministry of Interior. Also, the village was selected as Tourism Ota Village. With local wisdom of Dan Guen community as a great social capital, the International Art Fair Thailand Benele Kora 2021 is thus more fascinating and worth a visit. <laughs>